Good morning! It is Saturday. I just woke up, had a shot of espresso, fed the doggies, and now it's nail day every two weeks religiously. Um, but before I go get my nails done, I need to prep the yard for a lovely um, Cinco de Mayo themed dinner party I'm throwing. And then gotta walk the doggies. I also promised you all a Louis Vuitton unboxing from what I got at the special event last week and it has finally arrived, so let's get to it. Okay, we've got a little unboxing. Put it in the comments what you think I got from the special event. Oh, why is unboxing with one hand so hard? Okay. Ooh, ooh, there's foam. Okay, so how do I get in there? Oh, I see. <gasps> Yay! So it's a carafe from their new hand-blown glass line, and look at how cute that is. Hand-blown in Italy, and today, spicy marks are going in this. I have been making little Labels. I don't know if you can see that in this lighting. Can you see it? I've been making cute little labels for the foods. And then I ordered these little things off of Amazon. I'm going to hang them all around outside. Right, Vinay? Yeah. Little my boy. Good morning, Chimbas! Good morning, Chimbas! Yeah, thank you. I got some flowers that I'm going to arrange into something fun myself. I feel like the colors will go with the scheme over here. You sun-basking, my love. This is what we're currently working with. And then I'm going to put the flower arrangement in the middle there. These roses are very pretty. And then it's lilac season. Yes. Okay, what? Food prep is underway. I'm pickling my own red onions and then we're going to do like a Mexican inspired slaw to like put on tacos. So I made a dressing here. It's got fresh cilantro, lime juice, um, salt, pepper, garlic, red onion, and um, red wine vinegar, olive oil. Yeah, can you smell that? It smells divine. So I'm gonna pour that in here, shake it up, and then let it sit. That's the plan. Okay, we got Despacito radio on. Cushions are out, umbrellas out. Got the cute little colorful business. It's very windy today, but look at how cute. It's very bright out still, but I think we're ready to put the little margs out and ice. And then I got tiny little umbrellas to put in drinks. But yeah, I think it has turned out to be a very nice setup. Okay. Hello, friends. Oh, oh boy. Okay, I showered, did a slick back pony moment, and we're in some festive attire. Could that be a delivery? Let's go see. 
Ray of the hour. Hi. You're in. You're in the frame. Didn't you? Just so you know. Did you want to be on TV today? Come here, Penny. Come here, Papas. Go ahead. Penny, come here. Go ahead. Come to Auntie. Okay. So this has just arrived from. Wow. It's a nice indescript package. I hope this is actually what I think. It's free box. Yeah. Just. Just free box. Ugh. Okay. So I had said. Ooh. I really shouldn't have like a box cover, honestly. You should. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Save for returns. Let's hope we won't need that. Okay, so I had said before in my last shopping vlog when we went to Loewe if I could find that basket bag for below retail, I would buy it. And that was a tall order because it's new season, but we managed to do it. Oh, this is cute. It comes in like Bergdorf packaging. Okay. Let's see how she looks. This is like cute. Such a sucker for a good box. This is also Roya's first time seeing this, so I'm doing an unboxing for you all and also an unboxing for Roya. <laughs> Yay. So cute! Ah. And. Where is my friend the strap? Okay. So, you can do it like this if you like. Which is an Emily signature. Yes, or if you need to be hands-free, comes with a nice natural crossbody strap. I'll do some like mod shots of it so you can see what it looks like on a real size human, but it's pretty cute, right? And so I got it with a 15% off coupon from Bergdorf's. I think if you sign up, this is not, I'm like not cool enough to be sponsored by anybody, but this is just like a pro tip if you would like to find some this for cheaper. If you don't already subscribe to Bergdorf's emails, you can sign up right now and get 15% off and it, it like works on most designer things there. I also was looking at a Bottega item that it would have worked on, so get it. <laughs> Not that I need another raffia bag, but here we are. But I don't have one that, um... That fits a hole that you don't have in your current bag collection. It does. I approve of this purchase. Thank you. It goes really cute with this outfit. Look at how handsome you are. Okay, it's time for tequila. And I will, because everyone yelled at me last time we did a video, that was like a dinner party. I didn't show any of the food, so I will not do that this time. We've, I've got carne asada that I have been married. Oh, she's drinking the very uh, tart. I made the margaritas too tart. <laughs> it's fine. Um, I've got carne asada that's been marinating since last night. Pollo asada. Um, designer Dan is bringing his famous guacamole, so I'll show you guys that. Oh my god, look at this love. That's very nice. <laughs> the most action I've gotten in a long time. I'm leaving that in this vlog. <laughs> Look at you with your selfie stick. So Danny's cute. homemade Whenever woo! Pretty good. Aww. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Spicy marks. Won't be the last. <laughs> Some chicharrons. Oh, yeah. Delightful. Yeah. <laughs>
it's another day and it's another dinner party since I already did a bunch of dinner party prep in this vlog. I thought I'd tack on having two girlfriends over, one of which is Brea, who you already saw in this vlog, um, just for like a healthy dinner, some salmon, some dilled rice, and I'm going to make like a killer charcuterie board to snack on. So since I have a bunch of decor up in the yard, I'm going to repurpose, do a different table setting, and I thought I'd just show you. Enjoy. that's a board done so I'll walk you through what we've got here we've got prosciutto spicy salami like regular salami we did a little salami rose garlic herb borzen truffle hard salami medallions why will you not focus goodness yeah so truffle salami medallions in the corner there the garlic herb borzen is great for dipping with these little cukes, marinated olives, and then I've got various manchegos, and I drizzled some hot honey on it, and I think this will be very delightful. And my trick to a good cheese board is the following. You want to have a variety of textures of meats, so like a hard salami, a nice buttery prosciutto, maybe like a spicy salami situation. So you have variety there, but then for cheeses, you want to have one sort of like soft spreadable cheese that we have over there. Um, one sort of like harder type cheese, like a manchego. And then like a crowd favorite, which is this horseradish bacon moment. And I also like varying the shapes that you have, right? So we've got like a medallion here that people will just dip into. We've got triangles. And then instead of just doing your normal like squares or chunks, I like doing little sticks like this. Yeah. Looks very nice. I'm, I'm really happy about it. I'm not eating it. <laughs> she definitely will eat it. Salmon and rice. 